Today, we have an exciting topic to discuss, which is how Pakistani investors can obtain a US visa. Specifically, we're gonna focus on the E2 visa. In this video, we'll cover the requirements, challenges, as well as benefits associated with this unique opportunity. Before we dive into the details, make sure you hit that subscribe button, click on the notification bell so you won't miss any of our valuable updates. Let's jump right in. So the E2 visa offers Pakistani investors a fantastic opportunity to establish a presence in the United States. Let's go over the key requirements, investment status, you must be in the process of investing or have invested in the US business, skill set and management capacity, possess the knowledge and the skills to effectively manage the business. So even if you've never been an entrepreneur, but you're coming from the corporate world, or if it's in a different industry, there are ways to, to demonstrate that you're capable of running that type of business, as well as if it's a franchise, you can lean heavily on the franchise or in the training that the franchise is gonna provide. Substantial investment, Although there's no fixed minimum, if you're applying at the consulate in Pakistan or, or overseas, generally you gotta invest around $100,000, show the investment that you've committed the funds, maybe part of it's held in an escrow account contingent on the E2 visa approval. If you're doing a change of status from within the United States, we generally see you're able to invest less than $100,000 and still be approved for the E2 visa. Business viability, so the business should demonstrate potential for significant results, including US job creation, through W-2 employees, through 1099 contractors, as well as profitability for you as the business owner. And also intent to return. You must return to Pakistan once the visa expires, but it can be renewed as needed. This gets a little tricky if you have a sibling in Pakistan that maybe sponsored you for a green card, but it's 12 years away, 10 years away. Good news, the E-2 visa is for five years, so you can come for five years and your intent is to return home when the visa expires and, and waiting for, for the visa abroad. So we've had clients that have a pending green card petition. It gets a little tricky. We definitely want to bring in an immigration attorney to advise you on that. But the good news is there are different ways to demonstrate that intent to return home. Now, let's talk about some of the common areas faced by Pakistani citizens during the E-2 visa application process. Language barrier, fluency in English is crucial for accurately expressing qualifications and business intentions. English language courses of or professional assistance can be invaluable. Many of our Pakistani clients already speak English fluently but others need to up their English ability to get really confident to be able to speak with franchisors, franchisees, and, and be well prepared for that visa interview. That's generally going to be in English. Document requirements, gathering, organizing, extensive paperwork can be overwhelming. Thoroughly reviewing requirements, ensuring all documents are complete is vital. Business viability assessment, well-structured business plan, we can help you with that. Realistic financial forecast is essential. Insufficient plans can lead to delays or denials. Interview interview preparation, mock interviews and practice can build confidence in answering questions about your business plans and investments. I recommend you have that at least with a US licensed immigration attorney. And there are services that you can talk to a former US consulate officer as well as part of the interview prep. Meeting the substantial investment requirements can be challenging. It can come through a donation, through a loan from a family member. Generally, a loan from a bank is going to be difficult for this type of investment in a small US business unless you're already a green card holder. But if you're coming on the E-2 visa, it, it can be through your own income as a business owner, salary as an employee, selling a property. There's all different types of ways to come up with that 100K. At Visa Franchise, we're committed with guiding you throughout the entire process, addressing every challenge mentioned above to ensure your success with a proven track record of assisting over 1,200 families from 65 different countries. We're here to help professional entrepreneurs secure the best business opportunities for their US legal residency. E-2 visa, is a non-immigrant. It's a temporary visa that you can keep on renewing, but most of our clients, if they end up liking it here, are able to get a green card through the EB2NIW, spouse gets sponsored for the EB3, some adjust status for the EB5 and, and continue investing. We're here to work together with your own independent immigration attorney to ensure your immigration goals are met. Uh, one item to consider, we don't know who the president is gonna be elected in November, 2024, and what that means for those apply in 2025. So I do, advise you, we have seen during the Biden administration, it has been relatively easier to get the E-2 visa for Pakistani nationals, also other visa categories compared to during the Trump era. era. So I do recommend you, unfortunately, we don't have a crystal ball, but if you are thinking about moving to the United States in the next couple of years, you might want to move faster on the process so you can secure a visa for you and your family before there might be some tighter adjudicating trends at USAS or just at the Department of State 
appreciate them being tighter in terms of the visas that they're approving. So there you have it. E2 visa continues to be a very popular option for Pakistani nationals. And I hope that we can help you in your US journey.